Over the last half century, homes have gotten more expensive. No one's really arguing that. But over the last few years, homes have gotten more expensive at an exponential rate, and more and more people are being cut out of what should be a basic necessity. Now, what I've done is put together a chart to visually show you why this is happening, as well as to show you what needs to happen in order for things to go back to normal. And contrary to popular belief, that doesn't necessarily mean that housing prices have to come down. I understand that housing values make up the bulk of the average American's net worth. So causing a crash in the real estate market is not necessarily the best scenario. So let's go over the chart. As always, my name is Derek and I got my degree in finance, so you don't have to. Let me pull up the chart right now. Okay, on this chart, there are two lines. The red line is Redfin's data for the annual income needed to afford the median priced home. Now, what I did is two things. One, I finished Redfin's data with the available estimates for 2023, and then I overlaid the median household income through the years. Now, what this chart shows in basic English is that as long as as the black line is over the red line, the median household income is enough to afford the median priced home. The moment that the red line goes above the black line, the median household income is not enough to afford the median priced home. So what does this mean? This means that yes, houses have always gotten more expensive and the later you are to purchase a home, the more expensive it'll be. No one's arguing that. But what this is showing is that the median household income has usually been enough to afford the median priced home. In other words, the average American could afford the average house. And this is very important when we're talking about a nation, because when we're talking about averages and medians, we're talking about the general population. And right now we have a situation where the general population cannot afford your standard house. Now, contrary to popular belief, the best solution for this is not a crash or a reduction in the price of houses because most of Americans' wealth are held in the equity of their home. So instead, what really needs to happen? I think that's obvious. Wages have not kept up with inflation or with housing prices. Now, there are many reasons for this, but at the end of the day, corporations see wages as an expense and you the employee see wages as a revenue source so you will always have a conflict of interest because corporations and their main goal to return profits to shareholders is in direct contrast with you the employee the main goal which is to generate an income to be able to live now I do not have the solution in this video, but I hope that there are people smarter than me working on these problems. The fact of the matter is that the current corporate structure, which by the end of the day, I am a capitalist at heart and I do believe it is the best choice that we currently have. But the current structure pits employees against corporations because there is a direct conflict of interest and payroll goes on the expenses for a corporation but payroll goes on your revenue side of things and that causes these issues where corporations want to hold down pay but want to charge as much as possible for all things whether it's basic goods cars or houses so i hope this visualization helped show why so many americans are struggling to afford houses right now if you're watching this video you're probably financially educated anyway and you probably already understood this but i hope that i reach a few of you who maybe needed the visualization to start understanding why this is taking place and maybe this is your first step to better personal finance and to understanding money. And if it is, then you are in the right place. If you like personal finance and world economics, you absolutely are in the right place. That's all we talk about here on this channel. So please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you haven't turned on the bell notification, please do so so you don't miss the next video. Usually videos are on Tuesdays, but sometimes I'll release a video Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday when something important needs to be talked about. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I hope the situation in the real estate market improves soon so more Americans can experience home ownership and what should be 
a basic necessity, which is a roof over their heads. As always, my name is Derek, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.